Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. This is an answer to the question of what's funny about the faucet. Well, if you look, it's right close to the tub here. And then I went ahead and drilled the holes and thought I had it all done. I was ready to be finished with the tub surround. So, the only problem was, if you look, that tub surround is curved. So I had to buy another tub surround and redrill the hole. Yeah, I had to put the faucet up higher to get away from the curve on the bottom of the tub surround. So that meant that all that work and all that effort putting the valve together was wrong. Also, Lions does not sell just one end of a tub surround. They sell the whole thing. You buy all three pieces, $244. So I ended up buying another tub surround and <laughs> I took the end panel and put that tub surround in. So it was not a happy camper that was doing that, but I managed to make it work and we got the tub in and we're happy with the install. I'm still not happy about having to buy the whole new tub surround, but you know, that's how it works. That's how the company decided they wanted to do it. Now, if you see anybody around that wants a tub surround with one hole drilled a little too low for a single faucet, but it'll work if you want to do some modifications to the tub surround that we didn't think we wanted to do. I have one. Matter of fact, I have one pretty much. You know, if if you want to come get it, a couple bucks and it's yours. Be happy to get it out of the garage. I'm really unhappy that the whole thing happened. But, you know, you make mistakes, you carry on, you do the best you can. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.